Now it's time for Money Matters. By many standards, our economy is healthy right now, even booming. But the construction industry is seeing a slow recovery since the recession a decade ago. Today we're joined by Jason Vanderpoel, who is the Chief Compliance Officer at Strategic Wealth Designers. Uh, Jason, it's good to see you. We thank you very thank much you. Uh, for coming in. Uh, you know, is this especially true in the, in the residential sector of uh, construction and, and reconstruction? Yeah, so what's, what's important to know is that uh, after the financial crisis of 2008, about a million and a half jobs were lost in the construction industry. And it's been an incredibly slow and sluggish recovery over that time. And, and they still today haven't gotten back up to replace all of those workers. Industry sources say that they're still about 350,000 workers short of where they were. And so what that's driving is, is some pent up demand and uh, low inventory in, in housing, in the housing market. So people fled those jobs uh, at that time. They went on to do other things. And now, with the economy back and strong and people wanting to do projects, they're having trouble finding contractors who can do it, right? Absolutely. The, the, you know, the employment industry in, in the trades is, is uh, lighter than what it should be. And these are really good, uh, good paying jobs. These are places where uh, you, know, you can come out and, and be making 25 to $35 an hour in, in construction or in, as an electrician or a plumber. Uh, and, and so there's just, you know, there, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of opportunities for people to have a really good job in that industry. A lot of people are uh, you know, seeking out the four-year degrees uh, and the debt that comes with it. <laughs> uh, you, you know, and, and are not looking at these uh, skilled labor positions that might be out there. Are there incentives uh, to, to get into that? Yeah, I, I think these companies are trying to offer incentives. I actually heard a radio ad yesterday. An HVAC company was looking for a new technician, and they had a, a $20,000 uh, signing bonus. Uh, so there's, there's incentives out there. And as I mentioned a moment ago, the, the wages are incredibly good for somebody with, you know, without a, a traditional four-year degree. Um, you know, the cost of, of college these days are about 100 thousand dollars over a four-year period and you can come out with a trade uh, a trade certificate for you know maybe ten thousand is yeah. what the average yeah. is you hear people complain that they uh, would like to have a project done but they can't get a contractor they call them they're they're stood off or told that they're you know they're way behind yeah. any hints on how to deal with that you know uh, uh, tempering your expectations is probably the first thing you know if you if you're looking to get that new kitchen by Thanksgiving this year and you got <laughs> people coming to visit it's probably gonna be a pretty tall order um, but outside of that just going out and being an informed consumer, uh, looking up you know contractors that work on timeliness that have had good reviews for that, uh, talking to your friends, talking to the Better yeah. Business Bureau, making sure you do your research to, to find out who you're getting uh, getting in with. So tell everybody to come back next Thanksgiving. You'll have that that new kitchen ready for them, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks as always. We appreciate you uh, coming by, and uh, we do also want to remind you of this that uh, you can learn more ways to make your money matter on wkyt.com, and if you have something you want us to discuss, send an email to news at wkyt.com and we'll talk about it here.